Tim here. This is my latest creation, the boom box, uh, because it's got twin booms, and as you can see, this fuse is a box. Um, not sure how well this will show up on camera, but uh, it's just a straight shot all the way through this thing. Uh, it's a massively huge fuse. It's probably about four and a half inches square going across, and I think the total length of nose to tail on it is about 21 inches. Um, you've got enough room to put, I don't know, bricks, two bottles of wine, you know, whatever you want to deliver. Uh, I've already done a maiden flight on it. Uh, had to make a little bit of adjustments. It was flying tail heavy. Uh, our, our friend Winston's out here today. He made me an adapter so that I can hook four 2S batteries, 2,000 uh, milliamps a piece. So we're gonna be flying it on 8,000 milliamps. Let's let that soak in for a moment. Uh, I should get some insane flight time. Uh, it's got an 11 by 7 prop with a large silver motor. 1100. 1100 kilovolt from uh, Laser Toys. Uh, it's got the KFM 3 heavy lift wing, by the way. Uh, it's got a large spar with a spacer actually inside there. Uh, wing wing uh, span on this is 60 inches. Wing cord is 12. Let's go see what this thing can do. Hey Tim, are you sure you want to fly in this? All right, I just wanted to make sure you were aware. It's a little windy. Oh, it's fine. It's good. It ain't hurricane weather. Yeah. Oh, I need to add, my, my wife got me for Valentine's Day these wonderful HD sunglasses. Uh, they're sort of a blue blocker style lens. Uh, so I'm gonna be testing those out today for flying. Just call him Roy Orbison. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a lot of Roy Orbison comments out of these, but you know. They're oh, stylish. in here and get a look at this nose cone he's got built for this thing for the battery door. I'll look at my camera too. We're also going to get some in-flight footage on this with the uh, keychain cam. We've got a glorious EPP and fiberglass wrapped nose cone. And the entire fuse box is made out of 15 mil EPP. Okay, we got the key change cam running. It captures some pretty nice video. Hopefully we'll get some nice flight footage. This has a lot more power than the, uh, the maiden flight setup. Uh, I can actually feel the difference, so it's, there's clearly more amperage available. A motor on 2S is capable of turning a 14 inch prop and pulling under 30 amps to do it. So an 11 inch prop is about probably 22, 23 amps. We haven't watt metered it yet, but we're going to later. You might have a look at that timer to see where we're starting to fly. Wow, that's pretty stable. Even with these windy wow. conditions, that thing's rock solid. Yeah, it's doing great. It's not a controller at all. Yes. And it's just like slow and there. Like now, what's your plans for this plane, Tim? Um, I've got the RG pilot from DIY Drone. And I'm planning on getting that into there. I still don't have all the flight stabilization components. I, I have just ordered the GPS. Uh, this plane should be fully capable of waypoint G, GPS waypoint mission uh, by the time it's all said and done. So it's going to have a full autopilot, cameras, GPS, IR sensor. Um, actually, we're probably leaning away from the IR sensor and the IMU. Oh, the accelerometers and gyroscopes, the IMU. 
Uh, we'll put a link to we'll put a link to the RG Pilot if anybody's interested in it. Lost the plane there in the sidebar. As you can see, it flies really well, Tim. Yeah, this is about uh, half throttle. We got a weird tail look because of this wind. I'm kind of flying at, at a 45 degree angle. What it feels like most of the time. You need to add some color. Yes, it needs some color. Uh, I also need the radio logo on the bottom. Yeah. There's, there's that crab wall. Now that you guys can tell on the camera. That's a weird remnant of the Jupiter, though. I'm not sure any fans of the Jupiter would feel like that. The way the, the air manners are, it just has to be quite characteristic. Especially the way it turns. Yeah, well, that's because I don't have any letters at all. We're at three minutes in the air. You gotta love the KFM airfoil with the stability, the uh, range that it has in the wind, and freedom of CG because I am flying no heavy. Yeah, I'm going back inside. I'm not trying to wind up. Heads up! Nice quiet plane. Yeah, it is rather quiet for flying. And that, that propeller, is, I'm sure it's out of balance. I haven't balanced it at all. I could probably make it a little quieter, a little more efficient. The closest I'm coming in is kind of stupid, really. I think that flight's a lot. But I'm trying to, trying to allow the camera to see the plane a little bit better uh, with the, the ground in the background. It's big enough. Yeah, well, I just want, I, I like the, uh, something in the background to let people see the speed that it's flying, whether it's fast or slow. Oh, there you go. Or, or you know, it's, maybe it's not moving. And about how much throttle are you flying at? Now I'm up to full throttle. Are you? Yeah, I think the batteries are actually going weak already. These are some old, old batteries that uh, Paul had in the throwaway pile. Yeah, I hear a lot of people comment that 2S batteries just are not as good as the 3S batteries, but for these slow flying planes where you're trying to get a lot of flight time and slow gentle flying you put a big enough prop on them they put out plenty of thrust it's just not the speed that you're used to although this one still picks up a bit uh, that was in a that was in a downward with a tailwind climb, yeah, with a tailwind <laughs> but you know they still put out plenty of power plenty of thrust i should say and they just don't draw as much for amps so you can get a lot longer flight times. You do have to go a lot bigger on the prop. Like I said, we can go, well, I don't know how much room he left between the booms, but theoretically that motor could go up to a 14 inch prop. I actually have 14 inches exactly. So he could go up to a 12 or 13 inch prop on that pretty easily in a lower pitch and get really good power out of it. It's got a perfect power setup, I think, right now, though. There's gliding. 